Hello grade ones, welcome back. My name is Teacher Da. If I haven't met you before, then I'm so glad you could join me today. And if you've been coming back for these lessons for a while now, well, it's just like having an old friend there behind the other screen. So thank you for joining me again. This is a grade one maths lesson. And if you have any questions while I'm talking, you can send an email to the address on your screen now, and we'll do our best to get back to you and answer your question. So thank you for joining me in this lesson brought to you by Worksheet Cloud. Let's get going. Today we are going to be doing patterns, not just any patterns, a challenge. Okay, let's do revision. That means going back to our last patterns lesson, going over a few of the things we learned, and then a challenge. Okay, are you up for a challenge? I always say, if someone says to me in my class, this is hard, teacher die, then I say, Good. Do you know why? Because if it's hard, that means your brain is doing exercise. It's like if you go to the gym and it's really easy, that means your muscles aren't getting any stronger. If you go to the gym and it's hard work whew, and you're puffing and panting, that means you're getting great exercise. Your muscles are getting stronger. So I hope today's lesson is hard. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Not too hard, but I think it's going to make our brains work. Okay, let's get going. Last time we talked about patterns in nature. That means that we can see some irregular patterns. Patterns that aren't exactly the same. Like this giraffe has some beautiful colors on her skin. These peacock feathers or a tortoise. If you look outside, you'll see some patterns in nature. We also talked about patterns on clothes. You might have patterns on your clothes right now. Are you wearing polka dots or stripes? Maybe you've got an interesting flower pattern. We get patterns on our clothes too. In maths, we get patterns and we get two different types. One is called geometric patterns, which is just a fancy way of saying shapes. And the other one is called number patterns, which is using numbers to create a pattern. And we're going to be doing those two today. Shape patterns and number patterns. Let's see if you remember how to do shape patterns. Look at this one I did for you at the top. It helps to say it out loud. Triangle, triangle, circle, square. Triangle, triangle, circle, square. Say it with me. Triangle, triangle, circle, square. Good. And of course we have to do the colors the same as well. And that's what makes it a pattern. In shape patterns we are repeating the pattern. Okay, so we've got, there's our pattern. And we've repeated it again here and here. So let's have a look at this one. There's a blue circle, red square, yellow triangle. Blue circle, red square, yellow triangle. What comes next? Did you get it? Right, blue circle. And then red square. And finally, yes, yellow triangle. And there we have it. Let's try the next one. Hmm, can you figure this one out? It's all hearts. Pink, pink, green. Pink, pink, green. So what's next? Pink, pink, green. Well done. That's brilliant. And there we have some shape patterns. Now, if you download the activity that I've prepared for you, you are going to need to complete your own shape patterns. Okay, so after this lesson, you download that activity and go ahead and try and see if you can do some shape patterns by yourself. Here's another one. Woohoo, these are all rectangles, so how am I meant to know, teacher die? And look how I've split them up. I told you it's going to be a challenge. We've got two up straight, two lying down. Two up straight, two lying down. Yes, two up straight and then... Two lying down, right. Two up straight, two lying down. Two up straight, good. Do you see how you don't need to get confused if we start leaving out the pattern somewhere in the middle of the pattern? Did you see that over here in the middle and then there was another help? And then again in the middle and another help? We can do it. Let's try this one. We have a triangle, I mean an arrow, pointing this way that way, this way, that way. Hmm, how about this one? Can you see? 
we've got three missing and then a help. The help shows us if we're getting it right because if we get to the help and we're facing the wrong way then we've got to go back and try again. So I actually like it when they put it one at the end as a help. So here we go. We've got an arrow pointing right, shall we say it like that, right, left, right, left. Yes, right, and then left, and then right. And this one is pointing left, so now we know we got it right. Good job, grade ones. Okay, now we're going to do number patterns, and we had two big questions in our toolbox that we have to ask ourselves if we are going to do a number pattern. The first one is, are the numbers getting bigger or smaller? That's the first question. We look at our number pattern. We don't panic. We calmly ask ourselves, is the number getting bigger or smaller? The next question we ask ourselves is, by how much? How much bigger? Did it go exactly to the next number, just by one bigger? Did it go by two bigger or three bigger? Or is it going smaller? Did it go just one smaller or two smaller? And once we know that, then we can easily fill in all the answers. So these are two tools we've got in our number toolbox when we're doing number patterns. Let's use them. Okay, here's one. 16, 15, 14. Some missing numbers, a help number, and then two more missing numbers. Okay, let's ask ourselves, is it getting bigger or smaller? Mm-hmm, it's getting smaller. Look, 16, 15, 14. Each time it gets smaller. And by how much? Just one, hey. So what's next? 16, 15, 14, 13, right? 12, 11, 10. And we've got our help number 9 and we're right on track. Phew. And then 8, 7. And look at that. We did that right now by ourselves just using our number questions in our toolbox. Let's try another one. Okay. 1, 3, 5. Panic? No, don't panic. <laughs> Let's use our number questions. Is it getting bigger or smaller? Are the numbers getting bigger or smaller? Right, bigger. And by how much? Let's try one, three, five. Look, we're skipping a number. They're getting bigger by just two jumps. One, two. So let's see what the next one will be. One, two, seven. One, two, nine. One, two, eleven. One, two, thirteen. 15, and let's check if we're right with that help number. 1, 2. Yes, it would have been 17, so we've got it. There's a number pattern, quite a tricky one actually, but we just did it like this using our two number questions. Okay, now, mm -hmm, the challenge. What are we going to do? Let's see our first question. Are the numbers getting bigger or smaller? Well, teacher die, you say it's impossible because you've got two and then a gap. So I don't know. Okay, fine. Two, something six, something ten. So I can see they actually are getting bigger. Okay, we'll take a guess it's getting bigger. Next question. By how much? Well, teacher die, I already told you we can't see because there's no number here. Hmm, what do we do? Well, all we do is we keep looking further along the number pattern until we can see two numbers next to each other and then that will give us that answer. We already know it's getting bigger. We can tell that. But we can't tell how much because we don't have enough information. So let's go. Ah, two numbers next to each other. A 10 and then a 12. Now we can say how much bigger. 10, skip past 11, 12. Or 10, jump jump, jumping two. Let's go and look at the other clue we've got and see if that works. If we're right, we're getting bigger by two is what we think. 16, one, two. Yes, 18, one, two, 20. We've got it. It's getting bigger by two. And we couldn't find out the answer straight away, so we looked further along for some help. Let's go. Two, one, two, 
four, one, two, six, eight, one, two, ten, twelve. What's next? If you can count in twos, you'll know. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen, twenty. Well done. That was a challenge and we did it. Let's try another one. Oh, ho, okay. First question. Are we getting bigger or smaller? 20, 18, 16. That's smaller. We're getting smaller. By how much? 20, 1, 2. 18, 1, 2. 16. By two jumps. So we're getting smaller by two jumps. So let's go 16 and two jumps smaller, okay? 16, 1, 2, 14. 12, we're on the right track. 1, 2, 10. 1, 2, 8. And if we were to jump 2, we'd get to 6, so we know we're right. Whew, that was another difficult one. Well done. Okay, let's do another one. 3, something, 5, 6. Big or smaller grade ones. Well, we started with 3 and it looks like we're ending with 10, so that's definitely bigger. And by how much? Well, we can't tell from the first number, so let's look at the... We've only got two next to each other, so that's all we've got to go on. Five and then six. Now, how much are we getting bigger by? Just one. Let's look at our hundred block. Five, then six. Okay, it's next door. That's easy. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight... Yes, nine. Wow, well done. That was really hard. We only had these two to go on and you did it. Excellent, grade ones. I love a challenge. I hope that was nice and hard for you and you made your brain work out and now you're even smarter than you were before the lesson. Go and download that activity that I've prepared for you and enjoy figuring out all those lovely number patterns and geometric patterns. I hope that you will join me again on the next lesson brought to you by Worksheet Cloud.